talk about fine lines between winning and losing, Ron, at this stage of the season when still lots to go. What does this club have to do to get itself on the positive side more than not? Well, we've got to be a little smarter in a few aspects. I mean, we've had, you know, we've had the good fortune of having a bunch of leads in the third period lately, and we've had the bad fortune of not polishing off games. Um, so we got to do a bunch, of, you know, a bunch of things a little better as far as details. You know, I mean, it's easy to pile on the, the last couple games as far as, you know, we gave up a bunch of chances on the power play. That's obviously not a great way to hold the lead. Gave up a six on five goal the game before that, got running around a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, before we had the break, we had a few uh, errors that cost us points. Uh, it's not one common thread. The good common thread is we've had some leads. We just haven't polished them off. So we got to tighten up. We've got to improve in, in a bunch of different areas. Our goaltender's been outstanding, giving us chances every night. Um, but there's a bunch of little things that if we add them all up, we'd be in a little bit better shape than we're at. But we're hanging in there. Tough baptism under fire for some of the younger players in this lineup. We're going through some tough times right now, but it's all part of the baptism. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know how tough a time it is. You've had leads. And, you know, I mean, it's not a we can do better. We're like a lot of teams who can continue to improve, do better. Like I said, we've been in a fortunate spot to have a lot of leads lately. We just haven't polished them off. We can fix those things, uh, continue to build, continue to grow as a team. We'll be fine. How would you describe Borgman's development this season? Whew, I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't, yeah, whew, I was ready for a bunch of questions, but that wasn't one of them. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, he does a lot of good things. He, he, he's very brave as far as going back to pucks first, trying to make plays on the breakout. Um, he's definitely a good skater. You know, he's gotten himself a bunch of times up the ice with control of the puck. He's not afraid to, uh, to do that. Um, I think he's like a lot of young defensemen. There's times you make a mistake, maybe you're trying to do too much. Um, but uh, overall, I think he's shown a, a lot of promise so far. How did I do? That was a no, was right, Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's no warm-up. It was good. Um, <laughs> you guys have uh, had to go with Zaitsev for a long time, and yep. I don't know about Morgan's situation, but that tests the metal of a defense, I guess. How do you think you guys have done so far without Nikita and uh, any other challenges that may be coming up as the season goes on? Yeah, okay. I mean, he's obviously a big part of our group, so this is an adjustment. We've had a lot of guys step in, kind of rotate. We have some guys called up, obviously. You know, it's obviously a player you miss. You'd rather have in the lineup. Um, but all teams go through, you know, we, we've been pretty fortunate overall as far as defenseman injuries, you know, yeah. as far as me, Jake, Morgan have been in all the games up yeah. to this point. That's that's not too bad. So, um, you know, it's nothing to complain about there, but we'll be excited to get him back, obviously. But, I mean, we've hung in there. I mean, we're still creating a lot of chances. I know it's, you know, we've been in a lot of tight, low-scoring games uh, lately, and so, um, you know, 2-2, two, 1-1, two, one, one, one nothing. Uh, so we, we've overall done okay with it and, and you know our our goaltender's been outstanding that's always a big help so mike was talking about you like the eternal accountability that he's seen from the group especially like on the bench in the philadelphia game as a veteran how important is that to, to have that among a group that's important and i think you know as the team continues to grow and mature you'll see more and more of it um, you know as expectations go up i think certain things that you know maybe weren't addressed as a, you know, or weren't talked about will become addressed. You know, it becomes harder and harder to win. As the more uh, thing I've learned, you know, the more the expectation goes up and the more you want to do well, the more attention to detail in all areas there really needs to be. And so, you know, I think it's just, that's just going to be a progression here. Like as far as it's so hard to win consistently. It's so hard to be, you know, we have a couple teams that have kind of gotten away, maybe top three or four teams that are, that look really, really good right now. And then there's a bunch of teams who look good, but have their nights, bully, you know, stuff like that. It's so hard to get into that, that top group that um, I think it's all part of the, the process here of continuing to realize how hard it is to continue to win over and over and over again. And, um, you know, it's, we're going to be we're going to be fine here. We got a lot of good players uh, who are continuing to improve, and we'll be good.